Hello and welcome to the, the, the bear, bear Blanket Comedy. Uh, I'm going to be your special guest. Um, my name is Jock Tula. Just, I'm going to be doing some... Um, I'll, be doing, I'll be doing some stand-up comics for you guys. Thinking about trying some open mic nights for some stand-up, but I figured Try the internet first, you know, that way you guys, you guys can watch it sitting down too. <laughs> that, that's the, that's my first, that's the first joke. So, uh, a guy, a guy walks into the, into the bar and, um, bartender, bartender goes, where's your ID? And the guy goes, uh, ID. Heck, that's only one state away. That's uh, that's one for you, Montana, Montana folks out here. Uh, we got we got Easter coming up next month. Um, la yeah, last Easter, went home, saw my parents for the first time since since Christmas. First first thing they say to me when I I get home, they go, hey. Why don't you uh, shovel? Why don't you get up, shovel? Uh, why, don't you, why don't you get up and shovel the driveway? Three feet of snow, and I go. Good to see you too, mom and dad. Like my family, like like games, like board games, card games. I'm uh, playing some some skip ball game. Um, you know, I wasn't doing too hot. I was kind of letting my guests win. This girl starts. She's getting rid of her cards. It's like they're going out of style. Jeez, Carrie. The demo the demolition team must be in town because your deck keeps getting smaller and smaller. So yeah, speaking of demo, went on a date the other night or the other week with a girl. She's pretty nice. Uh yeah, so you know we had a nice brought her down, a nice sit-down meal. Um, you know, later at night we were walking around just talking, getting to know one another, you know, and I go, I ask her what her big, what, you know, what's your biggest fear? You know, she thinks about it a little bit and she goes, you know, she goes, tells me her biggest fear is autophobia. Autophobia is the, um, the fear of being alone, forever alone. Hashtag. You know, so we keep talking and, you know, getting to know one another. You know, doing all the first date stuff. You know, we keep talking about our hopes and dreams, you know, what what we want to do with this life, different life goals. And you know, so being the gentleman that I am, you know, I go I go, hey baby baby girl, I wanna make your dreams I wanna make your dreams come true. How many ladies out there want a guy like that that wanna make a guy that wants to make their dreams come true, huh? So what do I do? She goes to the bathroom, <laughs> left her in the bathroom, left, went left, made her dreams, made her dreams come true. Haven't, haven't called her since. Guess, I guess that, that's, that one's a bit of, that one's a bit of a thinker. So I've gone on a couple, gone on a few dates with a few different girls and the one thing I find out, girls don't want a guy with a lot of baggage. You know, a guy like me, that's hard to, that's hard to hide. You know, I got two little daughters sending child support to, and I just get to see them on the weekends. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't get to see them at all. <laughs> Judge said I, was, I wasn't suitable as a parent, and I told him, suitable? You got a closet full of suits, I'm able to wear them. I just, I just don't like the way they itch around my neck. That's about all I got here. All right, I'm Jock Tula. Thanks for coming out. Brown. All right, see ya.